morning, Gravit High School. I'm Ethan. And I'm Teo. And this is the news for the week of May 8th. For lunch this week, today will be hoagie sandwiches or grilled cheese sandwiches. Tuesday will be quesadillas or Frito chili cheese pies. Wednesday will be oriental chicken or chicken nuggets. Thursday will be chicken flatbread or corn dogs. And Friday will be uncrustable sandwiches. Last week, JHS Band held their spring concert. Both the concert and jazz band had their time to shine, which was then followed by an award ceremony where Caitlin Lates won the John Phillips Souza. Additionally, JHS Choir had their spring concert on May 4th. Both choirs sung and showcased exceptional talent. Last weekend, baseball and softball regional tournaments were held here on our campus. Both our baseball and softball teams entered the tournament as district champs, having won their respective district tournaments the week before. In a somewhat expected turn of events, our softball girls are regional champs after dominating Pottsville, Farmington, and Pea Ridge, allowing only three runs total in all three games combined. However, it was also a big weekend for baseball. After three one-score last-minute wins against Pottsville, Moralton, and Dardanelle, our baseball boys are also regional champs. Congratulations to both teams, and good luck at State this weekend. Uh, staying focused, not giving up. It was a dogfight, and you know that was our third time playing Pea Ridge. It's hard to beat teams three times, and uh, we stayed focused and made adjustments like we needed to uh, at the plate. Defensively, we did well. It's just that. I mean, these, these guys love each other, and you can see it. Uh, and we've had a few guys that have been stepped up to be leaders. And when you have players who can lead other players, it, it, it always goes in the direction you want to. You know, I always tell them, coach-led teams are good, player-led teams are great. And we've got some good leaders this year. For any seniors that need to, this week is finals for the senior class. Finals will be this Thursday and Friday. And for any seniors that are exempt, you can stay home the last two days of school. Track State was last Tuesday in Clarksville. While the team didn't win any of their events, our team broke seven different school records. The team also set lots of new personal records at the competition. Good job, Lions. And now to Johnny for the weather. Thank you, Teal. Good morning, graduate students. I'm Johnny Kelly, and this is your weekly weather forecast. Now, this week is going to be a little bit more wet than last week. Uh, but on Monday, we start dry with some partly cloudy skies and a high of 84 with a low of 63. Going into Tuesday, the rain does start with some isolated thunderstorms and a high of 86 and a low of 64, so it is going to get a little bit warmer. And then it drops on Wednesday to a high of 81 and a low of 63. The rain does persist with some scattered thunderstorms. Uh, going into Thursday, the high drops again with a high of 80 and a low of 65 with the rain once again persisting. And then going into Friday, it's going to be a high of 80 again with a low of 63 and the rain persisting once again into the weekend. So pack your umbrellas. I'm Johnny Kelly, and that was your weekly weather forecast. Back to you. Thank you, Johnny. Last week, for the sake of science, we asked how tall you were. 33% of you said that you were between 5'4 to 5'7. 29% of you said that you were between 5'8 and 5'11. 21% of you said that you were between 5'0 and 5'3. 12% of you said that you were over 6'0, and 5% of you said that you were under 5'. For this week's survey, who is your favorite teacher? Well, that's everything from us. I'm Ethan. And I'm Teal. It's been a wonderful year. And it's been our pleasure being your news anchors.